The Diary of Anne Frank is a story about two Jewish families who had to go into hiding during World War II when Nazi occupation was spreading across Europe. So in order to avoid being called away to the work camps, they went into hiding. In the attic, the Frank family and the Von Dons and another character, Mr. Dussel, are all kind of crammed into this really tight space. So they're all kind of just living on top of each other. We know about this true story because of the words of Anne Frank. She had received a diary soon before going into hiding for her 13th birthday and started recording her life and her thoughts. And then obviously when they went into hiding, she had a lot to talk about. And that's one of the most beautiful things about this show is that even though she's writing about these terrifying, dire circumstances that they were in, Anne was such a bright and positive and brilliant young girl. And so this play takes her words and her perspective and puts it on to the stage. Holly Keller, who plays Anne Frank, is a pro. I am 12 years old and I go to Acton Middle School. Holly Keller was everything that I wanted in an Anne. She's just so full of energy all the time. She doesn't really have like an off switch. She is funny, she is rambunctious, she talks a mile a minute. That is my whole personality. I love to talk a lot. She has this spark to her and this fire and this joy. She very much kind of embodies Anne Frank in the way that I think the diary of Anne Frank, the book and you know the play, really give to it. And it's such a big role to take on at her age and she's doing it with such grace and positivity and strength. And playing alongside her, it's just really amazing. Graham Ramos is such a lovely actor to work with. I am a freshman at Granbury High School and I am playing the role of Peter Fondon and he just could not be more perfect for the character of Peter. It's been amazing to work with Graham. He's extremely funny. He's a very thoughtful, gentle human being, which comes across perfectly in this character and interacts in a really beautiful way with his fellow actors. For me, Otto Frank is really the cornerstone of this show. He's the person who kind of keeps everyone together and has a lot of the positivity moving through the story. And Rodney Hudson is just doing that so beautifully. He has such a warm energy to him. My face always lights up when he's around. I'm just, I'm able to communicate with him very well, just the way Anne and her dad would. M.K. Flannery is doing such a beautiful job playing Mrs. Frank. She has this very sweet motherly energy about her, which is what you want. And she is like a second mother to me, and I just, I love working with her. She's so amazing. Maudie Davis plays Margot Frank, one of Mr. Frank's daughters. And it's just been a lot of fun to kind of explore those really like sincere moments as like father and daughter with her. I love working with Dan Powderly because he plays Mr. Fondon, and his character is so incredibly sassy and has such an attitude, and he's just such a character, and I just love it. I've really loved working around Leslie, who's playing Mrs. Fondon. She's such a motherly figure. Like, even during the scenes, she'll just do things that a normal mother would do. Bob Beck, who is playing Mr. Dussel, is hilarious. Um, getting to see Bob kind of be the one to help lighten those moments and bring us out of those maybe darker or sadder moments within the show is a treat. Thomas Powderly has been doing an amazing job playing Mr. Crawler. He isn't in all of the scenes, but when he is, he just steals them. There's a part where he has a monologue and we're all just zoned in on him and he is incredible. Darcy Doyle, who plays Meep, is amazing. Darcy brings so much in the scenes that she has and it's, you know, just a look in her eyes or the way she talks to you that she, like, she is living the character and it really helps me create my character as well. As an educator, I believe that this is an incredibly important story that needs to be told and to people of all ages. Before I had learned about the Holocaust in history, but I never really tried to think about what the Jews went through and how horrible the time was. And I think playing a role like this really opens my eyes. But the experience is not just educational. The show is beautiful and moving. And there's also just an unexpected amount of love and joy and warmth. Come see The Diary of Anne Frank at the Granbury Opera House.